Hey, good evening, my people. It's Focus Connect tapping back in. And uh, we back on WAC 100 today, man, because it seems like, man, he's standing in quicksand right now, man. It seems like everything he doing, man, he turning more stones, man, to get himself uh, in a bad situation. You know, he creating a lot of enemies right now, a lot of powerful enemies. And these guys coming at his head. Check out my clips, man. Big U done went in on him. The beef is getting hotter, people. Get emotional about things. We don't like to talk about it. So I'm going to tell you why we fell out. Here's a dude that I put many plays in front of him, helped him make money, helped him do a lot of things. Okay, right. So I get a call about 18 months, two years ago, from my late E1. E1 tells me, hey, what? We want to tell you something. We don't want to tell you, but we got to tell you. But Big U just left our office in New York? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thinking maybe he went to try to get a deal or something. You know, all right. I'm just going to say, why would he be there? Right, right. hold on. And he said, well, let us tell you what went on. Last week, he called and said Suge wanted him to come in for a meet. And Suge was going to be on the phone. So we thought maybe Suge was, you know, trying to work, get something done. So we set the meet. Okay, he gets in the meeting, Suge on the phone. Suge says, we want you to give your contracts that you have with WAC the Big U. Big U is the only dude that he's scared of in LA. We, I said, what did y'all say? We told them, WAC is not only our business partner, but he is our friend. And that will never happen. And I got to ask you to leave my office. So they tell me this. I wait a week. I don't say nothing. Call Big U. Hey, homie, you went to the office over there and said this nigga that I'm scared of you, nigga, whatever you ever. Fuck you. No, no, whack. That ain't how I went. No, that's how I went. He said, Suge said that. I said, but look, nigga, you still ain't told me that happened. It's been seven days I've been sitting on it. You went to my place of business. It's obviously you and Shug had this mapped out. Whoever he think he is, he ain't no fucking body. No, he ain't got no weight in there. He in the PC yard the penitentiary. You really fucking went to New York and walked in my office a nigga who didn't put his life on the line, who didn't look out for you, who didn't help you maintain the system and tried to do that. So let me ask you something, Big. You would have dared to win for it then. Well, you'd have told me then. Man, as we can see, man, they always say it's two sides to a coin. You know what I'm saying? Wax saying that he feel like he been violated by Big U by trying to go behind his back and pull a back door move on him on some business. You know what I'm saying? This the thing that we have to pay attention to in our communities, man. We can't trust nobody. You know what I'm saying? But all we getting is Wax side on this, but now we kind of getting a picture and an idea or where Wack coming from with his disrespect. But now check out this next clip. You, bro, big, you is the biggest kind of slave you can find, bro. Yeah, act like he's fuck with you, bro, but it all be for a moment. Listen, bro, I got it on my text message. I'll show you when I see you. But the nigga Jesse dies. Big, you sent me the contract. You're talking about help me go after you 30%. I said, bro, you weren't going after 30% when he was alive. Damn, it's a cold game, man. You got Wack mentioning that uh, Big U was trying to get Nipsey Hustle Estate out of thirty percent, man. What the hell, Lauren London going through out there dealing with these gang members, man? Or is it any truth to this? Man, we got Wax speaking on Nipsey Hussle and these rumors about him being, you know what I'm saying, homosexual. Some allegations we never heard before. 
You know what I'm saying? What's whack angle with all this, man? Was he that mad at uh, Big U that he felt that way? Because we always heard him diss Nipsey Hussle. So it's kind of crazy that you trying to throw that out there like you standing up in the man defense way. Leave a question in the air, man. I heard about the little CJ Mack and Dub C interview with that guy. I don't accept no apologies from no nigga to disrespect my name, disrespect my family, and call me on my name, my nigga. I ain't cool with nothing. I ain't cool with that CJ Mack shit. I ain't cool with that Dub C shit. I ain't cool with none of that, my nigga. And that's all I got to say on that. Ain't no nigga, I'm not fucking with no nigga disrespect me, my nigga. Come see me in my face. And that's all I'm saying to that right there. I ain't doing nothing else, period. I'm going to post this. I'm going to leave it up. Y'all get off Instagram, YouTube, whatever the fuck you, you want to. But I ain't cool with no nigga disrespecting my name. But I'm going to keep servicing these kids, though, like I'm supposed to. Cap on that. Wake up to all this weird shit. Let's get one thing straight. I apologize to one man and one man only. And that was at the end of the podcast. Whoever told you I apologize to you, they got you looking real crazy. Because I know you ain't seen it. Because I know you got a better brain than that. You should go tell them niggas, stop calling you with the false shit. This shit called chasing at its best, my nigga. This shit way out. I said what I said, and I meant what I said. But I issued no apology. I would never apologize to an individual that snaked me first. E1 Bill, yeah, motherfucker know what I'm talking about. Till then, incredible diapers. Man, as we can see, man, Wack 100 standing on what he's standing on, man. He said he feel violated. He said he got the receipts that, 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 that Big U tried to cross him. So he feels some type of way, but he also said, in a sense, that he had got cool with the family. His wife cool with Big U wife. So everything kind of seeming weird now that everything is at odds. Or is it seeming weird because you got to move differently because now you don't have that alliances with them blue boys now. You know, because we already know in the, in, the, in the California area, we already know them neighborhoods hold a lot of weight, man. They got a lot of members. You know what I'm saying? And they do not play. You know what I'm saying? So it can probably be luckily for WAC 100 right now that Big U is kind of like a changed man that he on another level and he trying to prosper, help these kids. He trying to kind of right some of his wrongs. You know what I'm saying? But people, we never know what's going on behind the scenes and we can't take no side because we don't know what's really going on. But I hope these guys can reach to some type of agreement, reach to a conclusion and to where even if they don't deal with each other, that this don't have to end in violence so these older guys can be the example for these young guys coming up man we need somebody to follow people we need some examples man that our kids can look up to and be better individuals than what we were before man than what we presented you know what I'm saying? That what we let these rappers put in their head and put in their spirit man we gotta figure out a way to reverse the curse my people you know what I'm saying? We all got to hold ourselves accountable. We got to quit pointing the finger at where a person live, where they come from, where their neighborhood come from, because it's the lack of knowledge that's getting them. You know what I'm saying? We can't preserve, we can't hold the information away from these people, man. The information is the power, and people ain't realizing it. What's killing the people in the ghettos in the hoods is the lack of the information. It ain't they circumstances, man, because you can go from broke to rich in one day. You can go from bad to good overnight. But if you ain't got that, them rules and that information on how to do those things, then you're going to resort to the things you have seen done in order to survive. You're going to do what you've seen grandma, mama, and uncle and them do to survive. So we got to wake up, my people. It's Focus Connect. Like and subscribe.